When you started to think about this album, did you have very particular styles in mind? I think it was just dance. We wanted to make something that, was, that would get people dancing. You know, you always start off with thinking you have a vision for a project. But actually, you don't really discover what it is until, until you get into the trenches and you start digging around and then you find little things, little treasures. But you're very definite that you don't want to be on the nostalgia circuit. Oh, good grief, no. Um, I think the thing is, we've always looked forward and we've never been afraid to explore music. In a way, do you think that you're kind of held back or have been held back by that phenomenal success. That lump of stone that could be the millstone around your neck is also a jumping off point and you can turn it to your advantage. I mean the fact that we've, we've that, that we had that success and I'm so glad that it was us who had it by the way. <laughs> I'm you sure. know, rather Why than anybody not? else. You know. <laughs> and, um, Wouldn't have been the big fancy yacht if you hadn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> was, it, was it in the contract you don't mention the fancy yachts? <laughs> It's important that you connect with your audience. That's the num That's the most important thing for us. You know, one, one, um, one new person turned on to Duran Duran means more to us than a Grammy, to be honest with you. Um, and all that critical um, acclaim that you can get. Is it heartening or disheartening when you're bringing lots of new music and someone stands up and shouts, play us reflex? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I think we've just got so used to it. It's, it's normal for us, and we embrace those songs. Wasn't it Frank Sinatra who famously said that if you, if you write one really great song, you'll always have an audience because there'll be somebody who wants to hear it. And if you write several really great songs, then you'll have a career. You always said in the 80s you weren't a political band, you didn't embrace politics. You kind of have embraced yeah. politics a bit now. It does touch in it on areas that we've never touched on before. Sometimes when things are very dark politically, we look to write something that will lift people's spirits because I think it's important to have that. Um, and particularly when you turn on the news now, you have to wait quite a while to find a positive, uplifting story. Of course, a lot of people consume things differently now. And yet, if you're, if you're the musicians, do you always, in order to get the album out, have to think of a structure? We grew up listening to the album experience, mm. actually getting up and having mm. to turn the vinyl over and put the needle back on. And whilst I don't think we're particularly nostalgic about it, I still think it's a fantastic way to listen to music and to enjoy the whole experience. So many artists now put out an album with maybe two radio hits on and a bunch of filler in between. Yeah. And, and we, we're, we're the champion of the old-fashioned album with this one. Putting this together, you, you two apparently had lots of furious rows in the studio. We had, we had lots of furious rows in, in the airport, in the hotel lobby, <laughs> anywhere where phone, you play music, basically. In a restaurant. <laughs> About We're like what? an unmarried couple. Yeah, what, what, what's, what's, the, what's, what's the argument? It's always about music, yeah. usually. Uh, it, it can be anything. It can be a word, it can be a chord, it can be a rhythm, it can be a beat and where it's structured. Um, it's good to argue about things if you yeah. care about them. We're very lucky that we have the, the other band members around us because somehow you find this equilibrium. If you're a solo artist, I think it must be much harder when you're not quite sure who you're listening to, maybe the producer. Uh, but we work with some great people on this album and certainly we trust ourselves. I'm not frightened of, 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 that, of that aspect of our relationship, Nick. The, the, the fact that we do disagree over things musically. I think it's the acid test that makes the music stronger in the long run. You know, we end up with, with better songs because of it.